Thanks to your actions, Masara is now in a state of open revolt against Arcturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. Okay, uh, this one's pretty simple. You get the medics too. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. The Dominion engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. All right then, medics are pretty boss. Although uh, medivacs are probably better, but they're you know you need your medics for the for the first few missions before you get that. So just you know put up with it. All right. So I usually just start training marine and these guys, and I move these guys up here. You can see the base quickly here, and there's a tank right there. Um, you can see the range. Just take note of that, and you, you can get these items to begin. Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it. Extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. Yep. So basically, what uh, I what I figured is the best strategy, at least for me, is um, I go for that supply depot and I built that uh, tech lab. Oh, this is going to be kind of a useless tech lab. You're not going to use it that much um, for the beginning here. Uh, but you are going to make uh, one medic because medics uh, do keep things alive, uh, and so. Do pay attention to that. Medics, medics that are great though. Um, but yeah, like they like to individually target your medics at times. It's kind of weird, which is why you have to really watch it. So it's a good idea to hotkey your barracks and your command center to keep this stuff pumping out. And you go up here, where they have a bunch of mineral packs. So you you may lose marines. It's not a big deal. What matters is your medic stays alive. That's why I'm watching. And uh, okay. Looking forward to it. And then you make them watch the little road here. And we go back here. Okay. Bring out three SCVs. One, two, three. And you're done. That's basically all you need to do. As for the geyser, I don't even bother to go after it. It's just it's not really that worthwhile. Um, because you'll see in a minute. It, I don't know. I, I, it just, it, it was just a waste of time for me to invest into it. I realized, because you know the, the little pickups you get, uh, you get more than enough gas for that. But uh, what you do need is a continuing number of supply depots. Okay, when that attack comes, that is your signal to move out. So you can move out right now. So you can, you can see I'm still pumping out SCVs, and you want to hug the corner here. See how they kept that marine alive? Those folks need our All right. Help, There's no way now run up here. To rot. No, Benek, don't die. There you go, we got them all. Now we can rape them. Alright. We're good, so let's go get these. We're with you. Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. Dominion can go to hell! It's Raiders, boys. That ah, medic runs. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's just uh, building up time. Um, you have all the time in the world uh, at the, at this point. Uh, it doesn't give you any kind of limit. Um, but I do suggest uh, a good sizable amount of Marines. Um, definitely, you're going to need more than what I have uh, supply limit for. Let me just uh, get two supply depots going. But that's, that's why you made so many barracks at the beginning, is because you were going to capture this, you were going to get a bunch of minerals to get you funded, and uh, you make the max amount of medics that your gas will allow, and this is more than enough. Uh, unless you're really done with them and putting them in the front and just throwing them in the way. Uh, psh, not a problem. And and, and by now the SVs you don't have to build anymore, it's fine. That, that's... As I said, that's what I found. It's the the tank is actually the biggest problem, and also there's like a 
bunker and some hellions and stuff. It's not nearly as bad as the, the frickin' tank, but uh, you just you just kind of save it and, uh, and then bum rush it up in the end. And I found that to I found that to be the most effective solution. Okay, I think we're good. Bad guys are that away. Yeah, about the second attack, I guess. That's a good time to move out. And I lost one marine. Okay, make sure they all heal up. Get and as I said, keep keep bringing in reinforcements. And uh, bunker is now the, the the next hardest part. And if you move them up all into range, you'll lose about four or something. But you know, nice job cleaning it's okay. They're fodder anyways. So you just kill whatever comes at you. Very easy. I said tutorial levels. Don't venture into the, the tank's range. Just uh, you know, you have a visual memory of uh, what what the range was. You know, back them up if they're not doing the right thing. And bring your reinforcing marines. Because they're kind of dumb. Make them hold position if you have to, and like focus down different different units. That's basically how you play StarCraft. All right. Uh, oh yeah, they're all they're all right now stopping because I told them to stop. My bad. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll tell them just to move up here. These guys will stop. There you go. And now we're at a. <laughs> we have actually 83 marines. We can also we can also take out the command center while we're here. We're still not quite in the tanks' range. Oh, there. No, nope, now we are. Don't want to go too much into it. Yeah, if they're getting too pumped up, then, uh, yeah. I know this is a lot of Marines, and obviously now we won't have trouble taking that stuff out. Uh, still, if you want a little piece of advice, this is what you do. Send one Marine up. Oh. Oh, my bad. Sorry, let me do that again. Send one up, and then make them all attack as a group. There you go. You want to just focus it down. Hellion isn't nearly as damaging as that. They get like all the Marines in a group there, it sucks. But you know. Well, I did it this time. And we're done. Game over. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. And that's the end of that mission. <laughs> and the great thing is, technically, I even beat the 10 minutes on Brutal. Uh, so, you know, it, this is probably the fastest way to do it. And, and you know, in my opinion, probably one of the more safer ones. You don't need the, you, you don't need too much gas. You get enough medics and you get a lot of Marines, and that's how you win. So, time to go back to Joe Ray's bar. wonder where Joe Ray is during all this time. All right. I have to say, Jimmy, you turned into a real impressive fighter. If I was old Mainsk, I'd be running scared for me too. You really mean that, Takis? Nah, I was just kidding. Ah, <laughs> uh, Takis, you jerk. What's this? I heard them Zerg got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on the black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes. Okay. So who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade in alien goods, they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. 
I am a great patron of the sciences. What was it like, Jimmy? Fighting them Zerg? All the scrapes we were in back in the day, all the narrow escapes, none of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is until you've got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. Oh, them Zergs. Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mangsk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of havoc these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tychus. Shocking, Kate. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rainer's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security force. Uh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, killing women and children on Marsara. Oh, man. Didn't the magistrate here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? He was counting on it. Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge, I never had to shoot anybody. Well, where's the fun in that? Okay, looks like that's what it. Is this swill? Yeah, I uh, hope you're enjoying. Uh, see you next time.